amongst the world, Germany, Britain, and the Commonwealth. And on the forefront is the Kenya Defense Forces, leading the military parade as well as the processes here that are meant to pay respects to the soldiers. These three nations lost during World War I in the period running between 1914 August up to November 1918. So the first wrath has been laid. This is the second one that is being taken up. And uh, in just one, two, three, it is now down there. Uh, watching, uh, looking on is uh, the UK ambassador to Kenya, as well as his German uh, counterpart. And it's another round for the military officers. Back to the table, where we have the set of wreaths of flowers. And uh, the German ambassador to Kenya, uh, Annette Gantha, is next online to lay her wreath of flowers in respect, for, respect to the soldiers her nation lost during the World War I campaign. Remember, Taveta was one of the hot, hotly, most hotly contested zones between the British Empire and the German imperialist policy. Now, I can see um, the German ambassador as well as uh, the UK ambassador to Kenya. Uh, they have now played their part in uh, paying respects to the soldiers that their two nations lost during the World War I campaign in the Taveta region. Uh, Taveta is said to be the first place where the first shot in East Africa during the World War I campaign was fired just uh, a few meters away from here at what used to be the former district commissioner's uh, offices here in Taveta. Uh, the then uh, district commissioner belonging to the British Empire one Hugh Lafontaine is said to have fired the first shot out of the window of his office and the first casualty as far as uh, the white man is concerned was one Frederick Broker that was uh, a German just from across the border in Tanganyika. Important to note is that from Taveta town here Moshi which was the German administrative capital is just 50 kilometers away. It tells you about the proximity and the importance of this region during the World War I campaign. Next, I can see the Australian um, ambassador as well as the great grandson of uh, one of the German generals that was very instrumental in the German campaign uh, in East Africa, the great grandson of uh, Paul von Lettovobek. Now, uh, the man you can see laying his wreath there is the Australian ambassador to Kenya. Well, indeed, Mark Namaswa, the reporter, explaining to us of what is happening as of now in Taita Taveta, where the commemoration of the World War I 